Tim Zhu is all set to defend the WBO Super Welterweight World title in the land down under, Australia, on October 15th against Brian Mendoza. Tim Zhu was recognized as the interim junior middleweight champion with his devastating stoppage wins of Tony Harrison and Carlos Ocampo. Meanwhile, his contender, Mendoza, has been making his own noise in the ring. He delivered a brutal knockout to the previously unbeaten Sebastian Fundora to seize the WBC interim title at 154 pounds. Fight fans, let's have a close look at how it was and try to predict the winner of this battle. Tizu vs. Harrison Harrison comes out immediately popping that jab using his 5.5 inches of reach at range. As the fight progresses, it became more one-sided in Tizu's favor. The 28-year-old connected with the more effective blows in the fourth round, including a left hand that sent Harrison back. Harrison had a solid seventh round, deploying the jab and working his way around the ring. But in round nine, the fight was over. Sizu uncorked five right uppercuts on Harrison as he stood against the ropes. Harrison eventually fell to the canvas after absorbing another right hand to the side of his head and a left hook. He got up but was in no condition to continue as referee Tadapson finally waved off the fight. Derrick James say, step over. There's it's been Harrison's jab again. A double photography, there's no doubt this fight is being fought at the exact ring. We're seeing Yeah, no. Here's the other right again. And another. And a left hook. Legs again. Not just taking the punch, just taking um, the power. Yeah, you want to jab, you know, again, leg. leg. Harrison got caught with him. Minute gone here in round four. impression that this is a fighter whose game plan look at our show only a long um they're gonna take it up now Harrison on the ropes Tony Harrison has had, had and again you see Zoo total total there's the right hand against a younger fighter Harrison jet to the stomach off the ropes. And that's where Harrison, because here and spot for him, given how important this Here's a good one to the right time. Get what you've seen out of Tim were expecting when you were training. Correct. I see that um, a lot of um, just coming forward, a lot of pressure in the rounds. He don't really just get off too fast. And, uh, and there's. The I know we're only. And now he's maintaining this fight, you know, physically and physically. He tried to talk to him in the court. What, what, does he have enough power to keep personal as far as volume? And try to keep Tony. Let's take a look at. But even when there's, there you go. Tame with that jab. There's the right hand. Forward, the uppercuts. There. There's the. A lot of experience in it against Tony Harrison and pretty much, pretty much, you know, Gibson came in here. Let's take a look at what these guys won. He's got one knock, six stoppage. He was either ahead or arts. So he indeed has. Follows up with a right that Harrison has. Sneaky uppercut. Oh, and then a left. That's a nice punch from Harrison. Booth. Just stay there. But hey, choose your punches wisely. Use those lateral movements to stay in this fight. Zoo. And oh, with that right hand. Yeah. Going to oh, double uppercut by Zoo. He's looking to stop Tony. Oh. Top Dawson says that is it. On April 8th, 2023, Sebastian Fundora faced Brian Mendoza. The implied winner probabilities were 79% Sebastian Fundora, 21% Brian Mendoza. Brian Mendoza sent shockwaves through the 154-pound division, knocking out Sebastian Fundora in their Showtime main event. The end came at 39 seconds of the seventh round. In the first three rounds, the much taller southpaw Fundora used his reach to jab his way winning all the rounds. Seeing evidence. 
Yeah, he, I mean, he's doing right. Mendoza's trying to do the... Topper cut to the body, buddy. On the inside. With an 80-inch... Mendoza to the punch. Mendoza continues to work. He launches the left hand. Mendoza is... And forced to bide his time waiting for a title. And difficult fight. He's using what, you know, these... You can't stub your toe. Snaps the jab out. Talked about using the angles to lead a plan B. Go inside. All right. Obviously, utilizing the jab very effective. You, you want this from him, but he's looking hard to get it off of his. He's that he gets right there. Yeah. He decides to yeah, fight. So he is with the newcomer to 154. 21 wins inside. He can be physically and Mendoza. And there's a left hand that lands upstairs for from uppercuts now in the Here we go. Try it. In some ways, you want to keep trying. There's, there's that uppercut. uppercut. And right up. And inside and from door. Mendoza leaning in to oh, yeah, Mendoza. So he might land something. Uh, Charles Dickens of Mendoza was trying to do well, there it is. Wait for the right moment. In the fifth round, Mendoza managed to get inside Fundora, landing some overhand rights. Fundora came back with the left uppercuts, drawing blood from the nose of Mendoza. In the seventh round, an overhand right on the head of Fendora, followed by a crushing left hook to the chin, followed by a right and left on the chin, and down went Fendora on the seat of his trunks, taking the full count from referee Ray Corona. that he may have stopped that fight for even Zoo against Carlos Ocampo. For 12 at 154 pounds, both of them aggressive, both good body punchers. You know, Tim Zhu is now always the quick to start. Oh, yes, oh wow. Is. Well, <laughs> going against Harrison. Oh, now, wow. no and he is sitting wow. down on these combinations. Oh, and he has Ocampo on roller skates. Ocampo's against the ropes. And my goodness. Hitting him like a home run already. But he has to be careful. Now Zhu missing with some wildness. What a start oh. by Zhu goes oh, with the laser right hand. Single. Single. Since he was stopped by Errol 